Hello and welcome to this video provided by Fudge Learn on Oracle eBusiness Suite for payables in release 12.2 and there's plenty to talk about believe me. For Oracle payables at release 12.2 there are some really exciting enhancements becoming available. For payables approvals in version 12.2.2 there will be the ability to transfer approval ownership of a supplier invoice. And in version 12.2.4, there will be the capability for invoice approvals to be performed in parallel. This should really help to speed up approval processing time. The Payables Enterprise Command Centre is available from release 12.2.8 onwards. This command centre and its associated dashboards provide near real-time data. This means that the data can be updated minute by minute. It has the capability to massively reduce the need to run concurrent requests to obtain key decision making information, particularly around period close. Also, the charts, graphs and key reporting information shown on the dashboards make it much easier for teams to identify and prioritise their work tasks. So, for example, it makes it easier to identify which invoices on hold have the largest early payment discount and therefore which invoices the team members need to target first when releasing the holds. The dashboards that are available for payables from version 12.2.8 are a supplier balance dashboard which provides a view of supplier balances and invoice ageing and also seven days invoice history can be viewed as well. There will be a holds dashboard providing information about invoice ageing, invoices on hold, top hold reasons and available discounts for invoices on hold. There is direct integration with the payables invoice workbench and I would expect this to improve the speed at which invoice holds are resolved. There will also be a discounts opportunity dashboard. This will include graphs with discount opportunities by date, which can also be drilled down to enable effective prioritisation of invoice payments and to gain supplier discounts. From release version 12.2.9, the Payables Period Close dashboard becomes available. For me, I feel that this particular dashboard has the potential to be transformational for payables, particularly around the period close process. It's going to provide data to support investigation into potential period close issues, such as unaccounted transactions, accounting errors and journals which have not been transferred to the general ledger. It will enable payable staff to take a more proactive approach to period close management. I'm going to show you a short demonstration of the Payables Enterprise Command Centre and its associated dashboards. So here we are in the Payables Enterprise Command Centre and the dashboard that it defaults to is the Supplier Balance Dashboard. And across the top of here we can see that we've got access to 10 different ledgers And we can refine our information and select a specific ledger, which is the Vision Services ledger. As you can see, the dashboard has refreshed and it's now showing data relevant to the Vision Services ledger. We've got our supplier balance at 21 million. You can see the employee balance at just under 42,000. If there was a value of unapplied prepayments, then that would be shown next. And our past due invoices balance, plus if we had any invoices due in seven days, the balance would be there as well. If I scroll down to the bottom of the dashboard, then we've got a list of open invoices and we can click on the next tab and view invoices paid in the last seven days. It's also possible to use the charts to filter on the data in the dashboard. So using the aging of past due invoices chart, we've clicked on the over 90 days overdue bar 
and this has refreshed the information in the dashboard. So now at the bottom of the dashboard, we've got a list of all the open invoices that are over 90 days overdue for the operating unit vision services. So here, let's click on the supplier staples and we'll filter on them. So now we've filtered and we can see that there are three invoices for the supplier staples that are over 90 days overdue. If we want to look at those specific invoices, then we can click on the invoice number and that will take us directly to the invoice workbench. You'll see that a bit later in this video. Here you can see the invoice on holds dashboard and we've got a few different hold types shown. Let's have a look at the holds for the federal supplier as they have clearly got the most outstanding. So the dashboard automatically refreshes and it shows us that they've got 499 line variance holds. And if we scroll down, we can see those individual invoices. We can see the specific hold details. And if there were any discounts on those invoices, we could see those. So let's take a look at the holds on a particular invoice. To do that, we simply click on the invoice number and then it routes us directly through to the invoice workbench. It's totally seamless and there's no need to change responsibility. Let's take a look at the hold. So there's just one hold on this invoice. We've completed our investigation and done any action needed. Then we can just exit out of the invoice workbench takes us straight back into the dashboard without even having to do any changes of responsibility. It's using the same security settings as Oracle eBusiness Suite. So there's no additional security setup required. And it means that the users see only the data that they're supposed to see. To me, I think this would be really useful for Payables teams to be able to proactively manage supplier discounts. You can see here that if we had data populated, you'd see the discounts available in the next seven days. And you'd have some chart data here as well, which would really help you to be able to identify and, and drill down on where your areas of focus need to be. Now let's move to the period close dashboard. We've got key business information again along the top and we've got the ability to filter down the side. OK, let's try filtering on a specific period, the period January 2020. So the dashboard refreshes and we've got no unaccounted events in January 2020 for that ledger. So let's remove that filter. So let's have a look at the accounting errors. To do that, we just click on accounting errors. The dashboard refreshes and then we can see by the chart that it's a number of payment events that are in the process status of invalid. At the bottom of the dashboard, we can see a list of the specific payment events that are in the invalid status. And if we want to examine those in any more detail, then we could click on the transaction numbers. If you'd like more information or have any specific questions about release 12.2 changes, then please do go to our website. You can use this QR code, which will take you straight there. We'll also be providing further information and videos on Oracle products impacted by release 12.2. So don't forget to click on subscribe and then on the bell in YouTube to receive updates when we make further videos available. You can also add comments and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Finally, here are some sources of further information.